Okay. Um, notes. I'll show you guys notes. Not much of an update. The only thing is you can look at notes sideways instead of up. So I can look at this sideways. I'm gonna do a new note just for you guys. Okay. So this is notes. I can just type right. I can also hold it sideways. It automatically turn even when the keyboard's out. And you can do that. You can hold, drag, copy. Then you can tap, hold, I mean, and then paste. So copy and paste works really great on the iPhone. So that's all, all that's been new about notes. Okay, now. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you, clock has no updates, calculator has no updates, settings has a new preference pane, but you can't access it, um, but one hacker actually found it, it's a tethering thing. Um, the iTunes store doesn't have any updates, um, the phone call doesn't only has one really, really small update, and again, it's probably as small as the picture one. If I go into voicemail, um, okay, I can't really show you guys right now, but you can see if it's their mobile or home instead of just the name of the person who called you. Okay, now, um, oh yeah, there's one more app that, um, that Apple created now, and it's called Voice Memos. So I can just tap on that, and this is how it works. So I, I can hit the record button or see my recording, so I don't have any recordings at this time, so I'm just going to record. Hey! This is a recording. I'm just going to stop it right now. So, you can, by the way, you can also hit the pause button. I'm going to be hitting the stop button. Stop. Okay. Now I can play it. The play button. And it'll show me it. I'll put it in the speaker for, so you guys can hear it. Hey, this is a recording. I'm just going to stop it right now. And if you're vi uh, familiar, sim familiar with visual voicemail, this looks just like that. And in they, instead of the um, call back button, they have a share button now. So I can just hit done. And by the way, that in the play button turns into a view your things button. Okay, so that's all of the updates in apps what about all the other updates like the search so okay this, so this is how the searching works as you guys probably know double tap you can customize I have it to my emergency contacts um, or favorite contacts tapping brings you to home screen but this is new if you tap from the home screen it'll bring you to the search if you tap from the search it'll bring you to the home screen Okay, so again, tap to search. Home screen will give you search. Tap from search will bring you to the home screen. Okay, and the searching works pretty nicely. It does not work with web history, but it works with everything else. And I don't, I believe it doesn't work with deleted, um, deleted mail. I might be mistaken in that. So I'm just gonna search for a song. P E O. By the way, the search does come up. Right, like the search results come up while you're search. You won't have to hit search, but I really think they should put the search app right in the toolbar, like it is on Mac OS X. That way, you can search in anywhere except for maybe watching a movie instead of just watch while um while you are in the home screen. So now I can just hit this. It'll open up iTunes and start to play. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you one glitch I found already, or a problem, I don't know about a glitch, that I found in 3.0 that might disappoint a lot of people. So you can still go in cover flow, and, but I can't change the song cover flow. Let's say I want to do Rock Star by R. Kelly. It thinks I'm playing that, that song, even though I'm not. So if I tap it, nothing will happen, as you can see. 
It'll just continue playing the song I was already listening to. Okay, so that's a glitch with that. And uh, here's the other last glitch that I found. So, uh, oh yeah, first first I'll be showing you another problem that I don't know. Okay, in 2.2, you won't actually have to slide to unlock. You could also tap here and then tap there and it'll go there. So, um, now here I can, um, I, that won't work. I'm going to actually have to slide to unlock. Okay, so also in 2.2, or you can, as you probably saw on my iPhone tips and glitches, um, you could freeze in between two pages by doing that. Now that doesn't work anymore. But here's another glitch that works with pages. Um, you can just slide to the last page, and this did not work in 2.2. And then you can like slide with two fingers as if you're walking, and you can actually slide off that page that you were on before. So I'm just going to bring it up closer so you can see. So I just keep sliding off. Okay, hold on. I'm going to use my thumb. Okay, there we go. And I'm actually, like, not on a page anymore. And then when I do that shake or to wiggle or hold to switch to places doesn't work anymore. And tapping on an icon doesn't work anymore. So icons don't work anymore. But then I can just hit the home screen or just slide back. Okay, so, that's that. Okay, now I'm going to be answering every single question, so you guys don't have to watch anymore. So, some guy asked about DFCU mode. DFU mode, that's basically when you um, take your iPod and you um, you kind of make it not work anymore, and that's a way to force a firmware onto it if Apple doesn't want you to downgrade, so that you can do that to get on to 2.2, because Apple doesn't actually want you to get it back onto 2.2 once you have 3.0, okay? Um, now, another person asked where you can get the 3.0 software if you are a developer. It'll be on the developer website, developer.apple.com, and then click on iPhone, and you'll see a section for 3.0. Just click on that, and then you can download it. Okay, the next is, um, does copy and paste work with all apps? And as you guys see, it does work with all apps. Does Spotlight work with web history? No. Um, what is the difference between 2.2 and 3.0? I showed you all the differences. So, okay. Does it lag on the effects? The answer to that is yes. Sometimes it does take a little while to open up, or um, there are a couple things that they didn't think about, like if I copy text, and then I go into add, uh, okay, I'll just show you this. So the last thing you guys remember is I copied text. So if I go into the phone application, and I say add, and I say, well, no, I say add, oh, and I'm in favorites. To go in contacts, add new phone number. So right now there's a phone keypad. Hold on, wait for it to load. As you can see, it is a little slower. So there's a phone keypad because they only want you to put in phone numbers. But they didn't forget, they did forget about copy and paste. So if I hold down, as you guys saw, there's that little paste thing. And if I paste, there you go, you see letters in the phone place. So, that is um, another glitch that they thin think about. So And yes, it does lag about the effects. But the thing is, okay, next, why do you have to um, be a dev developer to have this? Well, the first thing is it's not completely ready. And the second thing is um, they don't want it to release to, every to everyone. And then there are no apps that work that were made for 3.0. So, um, it's a chance for, for like a six months for people, developers, to make apps for 3.0. Next, when you are texting, can the keyboard rotate when you turn the fi iPhone to, to the side? Yes, they put side keyboard in everything. So, those are all the answers to my iPhone 3.0 answers, and this was a complete review of the iPhone 3.0 software. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.